What if I told you that the number 6 could be prime? Or that 22 and 33 are part of an exclusive club of primes that mathematicians have overlooked for centuries? Today, we are exploring a fascinating concept I call the 10 over P system, a simple idea that rewrites the rules of arithmetic and reveals a hidden world of numbers. To start our journey, we need to understand how we write numbers. We use the base 10 or decimal system. It's built on two simple rules. Rule one, the base. We use 10 as our base. This means each digit's value depends on its position, multiplying by powers of 10. So the number 243 is really a shorthand for two hundreds, four tens, and three ones. Rule two, the digits. To write any number, we have 10 symbols, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. This system is so natural to us that we forget it's just a framework, a set of rules. And today, we are going to change one of those rules. Let's create our first new system. We'll keep rule 1, the base is still 10, but we're going to replace rule 2. In this new 10 over 2 system, you are only allowed to use the even digits, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. The value of a number is still calculated the same way, but our universe of representable numbers has just gotten much, much smaller. Let's build this universe, one number at a time. What are the one-digit numbers in this system? Well, just the digits themselves, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Now, how do we make two-digit numbers? We take a digit, shift it to the tens place, and add another even digit. So, starting with 2 in the tens place, we get 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. With 4 in the tens place, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, and so on. 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88. Do you see what's happening? We have to skip over all the odd numbers. But more than that, we also skip numbers like 10, 12, 14. Why? Because 10 uses the digit 1, which is odd and forbidden. The number 12 uses 1, so it's out. To write 12 in the system, we can't. The smallest number we can write with a 2 in the tens place is 20. This set of numbers, which we'll call S10 over 2, is infinite, but it's full of holes compared to the normal number line. Now, here is where things get truly interesting. What does it mean for a number to be prime? Normally, a prime number is only divisible by 1 and itself. But in our new, smaller universe of S10 over 2, the number 1 doesn't even exist. We can't write it. It's not part of our system. So we need a new definition of primality that makes sense inside the 10 over 2 system. A number in S10 over 2 is prime if it is greater than 1 and cannot be factored into two other numbers that are also in S10 over 2. Let's test this with the first few numbers in S10 over 2. First, 2. In normal math, 2 is prime. Can we factor it in our system? We'd need two numbers from, from S10 over 2 that multiply to 2. The only option is 2 equals 2 times 1. But 1 is not in our system. Therefore, in the 10 over 2 system, 2 is prime. Next, 4. Normally, composite. 4 equals 2 times 2. Let's check. Are both 2 and 2 in S10 over 2? Yes, this is a valid factorization within our system. Therefore, in the 10 over 2 system, 4 is composite. Now, 6. Normally, composite. 6 equals 2 times 3, or 3 times 2. But is 3 in S10 over 2? No, it's an odd digit, so it's forbidden. There is no other way to multiply two numbers from S10 over 2 to get 6. Therefore, in the 10 over 2 system, 6 is prime. Let that sink in. In our new world, 6 is a prime number. Let's try 8. 8 equals 2 times 4. Both 2 and 4 are in S10 over 2. 
So, 8 is composite. Now, let's jump to a bigger one, 22. Is 22 a standard prime? No, it's 2 times 11. But is 11 in S10 over 2? No, it contains the digit 1. There are no two numbers greater than 1 in S10 over 2 that we can multiply to get 22. Therefore, in the 10 over 2 system, 22 is prime. This is the magic of the 10 over 2 system. It creates a completely new list of prime numbers based on the constraints of its own universe. Numbers like 6, 22, 26, and 28, which we've always thought of as composite, are the building blocks of this new numerical world. The 10 over 2 system is fascinating, but what if we choose a more mathematically profound rule? Let's create the 10 over P system. Our allowed digits are the single digit prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7, and we'll also keep 0 as we need it for placeholding. Let's build the set S10 over P. Our one-digit numbers are the primes themselves, 2, 3, 5, 7. Then we build two-digit numbers, 22, 23, 25, 27, 32, 33, 35, 37, 52, 53, 55, 57, 72, 73, 75, 77, and so on. Again, any number containing a 1, 4, 6, 8, or 9 is banished from this universe. Now, let's apply our same new definition of primality to the 10 over P system. A number in S 10 over P is 10 over P prime if it can't be factored into two smaller numbers that are also in S 10 over P. Let's go through our single digit numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7. In standard math, these are prime. Can we factor them within S10 over P? No, because we'd need to use the number one, which isn't here. So they are all 10 over P primes. A good start. Now let's look at the two digit numbers. This is where it gets wild. 22, standard two times 11. Is 11 in S10 over P? No, it has a one. No other factors. Therefore, 22 is a 10 over P prime. 25. Standard 5 times 5. Are both 5s in S10 over P? Yes. Therefore, 25 is 10 over P composite. 27. Standard 3 times 9. Is 9 in S10 over P? No. 27 equals 5 times 5.4? Not valid. There are no valid factors. Therefore, 27 is a 10 over P prime. 33. Standard 3 times 11. 11 is not in S10 over P. Therefore, 33 is a 10 over P prime. 35. Standard 5 times 7. Both 5 and 7 are in S10 over P. Therefore, 35 is 10 over P composite. 57. This is a famous one in standard math. It's composite, 3 times 19. But 19 is not in S10 over P. Is there any other pair? No, therefore 57 is a 10 over P prime. 77, standard seven times 11. 11 is not in S10 over P. Therefore 77 is a 10 over P prime. Look at this list. These are all numbers that are composite in standard arithmetic, but are prime citizens in the 10 over P universe. They are the indivisible building blocks of this new world. So what have we discovered? We started by realizing that our number system is just a set of rules. By changing one rule, the allowed digits, we created entirely new mathematical universes, the 10 over 2 and 10 over P systems. In these universes, the concept of prime is not absolute, it's relative. A number is only prime or composite relative to the other numbers you're allowed to play with. The number 57 isn't inherently composite. It's composite relative to the set of all natural numbers. But relative to the set S10 over P, it is prime.